The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home, Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few bucks. The Edward Snowman was no beauty, but it was all I had left.
Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. Much as I loved my homemade, the blowtorch was a hell of a lot more efficient. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's it. The end of... <coughs> the... <coughs> Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. 
Living in the waste wasn't to your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. <laughs> Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I gonna do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Time to get to work! No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream! I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. No, I've been practicing the next time No, I've been practicing. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! 
You can't park here! You... Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Hey you! Hello? You can't park here! <laughs> Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yeah, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... <laughs> Turn back time. Say... Do you keep hearing that strange sound, too? What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse park. You invented a time machine and use it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. 
Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronicle. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's, come on. Come on, come on! Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! Well? Did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Here is a suitable container. A compartment for paramechanical components, power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, uh, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. Oh, oh never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. <laughs> and there we go. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. So that last Nat's piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last drinks of Nat's piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh. I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth 
until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. You should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting again that I can't seem to stop. What day is it today? <laughs> it has me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course, Barbecue Thursday. Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Um, everything okay with you, Rufus? So-so. I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved the Ponia just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak, that would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. Bozo, Doc, that just can't be true. My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened. Huh? What fans? Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at down in one. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the middle. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened yet? <laughs> Easy. You just have to, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol. Reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. I'll find a way to make you remember. Uh-huh. I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tephanus be with us. Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, and your name is? Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course! Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, 
That too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hunagus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. There's an elephant in the area. <laughs> I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot idea. Uh, Groundhog. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures.